My name's uh, John Ferris. I'm the head of the programme of ophthalmology in the southwest of England. And I'd like to talk a little bit about my experience of using MST products for training. Uh, I run a training programme which has uh, 30 trainees uh, and we spend a lot of time using the STEMI microscopes that I was first introduced to by the MST team to teach advanced uh, cataract surgical techniques. Uh, in particular, the use of the Malugan ring uh, and the MST capsule retractors. We've got some model eyes made by simulated ocular surgery that can be used to mimic difficult cataract uh, cases. We can create a zonular dialysis, we can create a small pupil, and then we can train trainees how to use the implants, how to use the Malugan ring and the capsule tension uh, rings uh, before they operate on a live patient. The capsule retractors are particularly uh, helpful to practice beforehand. The new design of MST with the double uh, filament means they don't roll in your fingertips. Uh, the extended uh, arm means that unlike the iris retractors, they extend into the capsular bag and support the whole of the capsular bag. Uh, but our trainees who spend an hour or so working with these uh, retractors feel much more confident when it comes to live surgery, that they know how to position their incisions and place the retractors in the area of zonular dialysis. When it comes to the Malugan ring, again, there's lots of videos on the internet of how to place the Malugan ring, but only when you've done it yourself. Uh, in a simulated situation, I think you should then uh, go on to use them in, in live surgery. Uh, and on the simulation the gallery, which is part of the simulated ocular surgery website, we've got videos of how to put in uh, these devices correctly and also incorrectly so people can see what the pitfalls are. They're beautifully manufactured, they work incredibly well, uh, and they just make for safer, more effective surgery. I would like to compare cataract surgery to being a, a musician. So if you take somebody who's learning a musical instrument, they get the posture right, they're getting comfortable, they're given the basic lessons, uh, uh, and then between their lessons they practice, or well, they ought to practice, and that's what we don't do in surgery. We don't practice in between our sessions in the operating theatre. And we can't expect to progress as quickly and as safely as we should without practice. But with modern techniques using the IC simulator, using simulated ocular surgery model eyes, it's possible to practice even complex scenarios beforehand. So comparing it to being a musician, practicing before your performance, that would be the message I'd like to see more widely adopted.